Josh Maxey here. I'm here with the brand new Fred Instruments Reprise. Uh, this thing is a beautiful small body arch top. It is uh, hand crafted. The uh, wood is hand carved. Uh, the top is flame maple. You can get an idea of it here in the uh, light. The sides are uh, mahogany. The back is spruce. The neck is flame maple as well, if you can see that. Uh, the binding is uh, mahogany and the fretboard is ebony. Um, it has two Seymour Duncan 59s and we have it in a three-way switch configuration uh, for humbucker, single coil split, and parallel. We're going to go through a little bit of each sound. The sound you just heard in the intro was a full humbucker and for the most part I have 10 and 10 on volume and um, tone. The next sound we're going to visit is the uh, middle position on the toggle, which is your split coil. We'll play a little bit of a funk rhythm and then I'm going to roll the tone off a bit so you can hear uh, some variation you can get with the split pickup sound. Our third position on the uh, neck humbucker is the parallel. What I like about parallel is we can get a humbucker sound that's a little quieter and has a bit more high end. Uh, so. Compared to the full. Here's a little playing with that. Thank you. 
This brings us to the uh, middle position, full humbucker on both uh, bridge and neck. One of the things that I discovered in the first week of having the guitar is that I can get pretty close to one of my favorite tones of all time that I might not have expected. Um, so what this is, is split, neck, and parallel bridge. So we're going to go through full humbucker on the bridge pickup, um, single coil, and parallel. So, in summary, there's so many sounds. I'm I'm only a week in, and and I don't uh, I don't claim to get every great sound out of this guitar that can be gotten. Uh, but I can say that between the full bucker, that I can get a great jazz tone, which of course, you know, I'm a jazz musician, that's the music I write, uh, music's been played on jazz radio, and, and that's what I need. <laughs> uh, with the exact same setting though. And get a great blues and rock sound. Um, you know, the, the nod to the, to the Stevie Ray tone, 
um, I'll do a, a separate video with um, some overdrive and stuff so you can hear how it works uh, with pedals uh, along with some music play along. Um, so yeah, whether it's solo jazz guitar, um, you know, blues, uh, obviously, you know, our favorite rock music, um, it really does uh, everything that I need it to. <laughs> and actually, uh, it's teaching me already. Um, the overtones of the acoustic sound are rich, and frankly, I'll play a note, and normally I would rush by a note and try to move on to the next idea, and that note will say, hey, I'm actually still here, and, and here's this rich overtone and blooming um, acoustic way of the tones. <laughs> 